The Pechen Lama is one of the most important religious figures in Tibet. Traditionally, the Benchen Lama plays an important role in recognizing the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama. The practice of the Dalai Lama and Benchen Lama recognizing each other's incarnate began in the early 17th century when Lobsang Shuti Gelsen, the abbot of Tachirinpo Monastery, became the tutor and close ally of the great fifth Dalai Lama. He was given the title Benchen Lama by the fifth Dalai Lama, which means great scholar. The Dalai Lamas and the Benchen Lamas share a unique and remarkable spiritual bond and are referred to as Gawa Yapse Ni, or the great father-son duo. Both of them are revered as the two highest spiritual leaders of the Gelugpa school of Tibetan Buddhism. The 10th Benchen Lama remained in Tibet after the invasion and occupation of Tibet by communist China in 1949. The large-scale destruction, damage, and suffering caused by the Chinese government compelled him to write the 70,000 character petition, a scathing critique of China's policies in Tibet. Mao Zedong denounced the document as a poison arrow aimed at the heart of the party by reactionary feudal overlords. The 10th Benjamin Lama was stripped of all posts, publicly humiliated, arrested and spent 14 years in prison. Even after his release, he continued to criticize the excesses of the Cultural Revolution in Tibet. The 10th Benjamin Lama died under mysterious circumstances in 1989 at the age of 51. He left behind a lasting legacy of preserving, rebuilding, and reviving Tibetan identity, language, and culture. The search for the 11th Pemchen Lama began in 1991. The Chinese government formed a search committee led by Shadir Rinpoche, abbot of Tashirinpa Monastery. Shadir Rinpoche, in keeping with centuries-old tradition where the reincarnation of the Pemchen Lama required a formal recognition by the Dalai Lama, communicated with the Dalai Lama, and also mentioned Gendu Chikinima, the preferred candidate of the search committee. The Dalai Lama, after performing necessary prayers and rituals, endorsed the search committee's choice. On May 14, 1995, the Dalai Lama publicly announced Gendin Shukinima as the 11th Pension Lama. I thought very seriously about the, the timing of announcement. The firstly, because the Benjamin Lama's reincarnation became clear uh, inside Tibet, uh, is inside Tibet, under Chinese control. So therefore, whether we like it or not, we have to deal, uh, we have to work through Chinese government. Then about to announce this my uh, final sort of decision, I also informed Chinese government. Uh, and then there's indication they are very furious. The Chinese government rejected the Dalai Lama's choice and responded by abducting Gendu Chikinima on 17th May 1995. The 11th Benjamin Lama was just six years old and became the world's youngest political prisoner. His family members were taken away as well. The 11th Benjamin Lama and his family have not been seen in public since. Chadur was also arrested and imprisoned. He died of poisoning in 2011. On 29th November 1995, the Chinese government held a ceremony to select their Benjamin Lama using the Golden Urn method. Gelsen Noble from Napshu was picked and installed as the Chinese 11th Venture Lama. The Dalai Lama and the Tibet people denounced the Chinese selection. On April 8, 2011, the United Nations Working Group on Enforced and Involuntary Disappearances publicly stated they, the Chinese authorities, have continually refused to divulge any information about him or his whereabouts, making his case an enforced disappearance. Tibetans, international organizations, and many governments have called for the Benjamin Lama and his family's immediate release and freedom. 
Panchan joined Sri Lanka. Indeed, he is not a reincarnation of the Panchan Lama, but an ordinary Chinese citizen. He received free compulsory education as a child, passed the college entrance examination, and now has a job. He and his family do not want their routine life to be disturbed by the outside world, and hope the relevant parties will fully understand and respect their will. Beijing has steadfastly refused to divulge any information on the Panchan Lama's whereabouts. This is the only picture of Gendon Shikinima taken when he was six years old. The International Tibet Network commissioned Team Witten, a UK-based forensic artist, to produce an age-processed image of the Lem Benjul Lama as he turned 30. This is how the Benjul Lama might look now. The image premiered on the one show, a primetime BBC TV program on April 25th 2019 on the Penchul Lama's 30th birthday. The world must hold the Chinese government accountable for its actions on the 11th Penchul Lama. Failure to do so will embolden Beijing to continue trampling on the rights of the Tibetan people, including interfering in the selection of the next Dalai Lama. Today is the 11th Penchul Lama's 34th birthday and he has already spent 28 years of his life in captivity. The world must ensure that Gedun Shikinima does not become both the youngest as well as the longest serving political prisoner in the world.